Hey you guys, this is Richard coming back at you from my redstone server and tonight is a super cool machine. This is, if you cannot tell, a roulette wheel. And while the payouts and things like that are not automated, just the functionality of the wheel I think is special as it provides for a truly random spin, can land on any of the real 36 casino laid out numbers, and when used in a gala situation, might be a fun way to have a good time with your friends so we're gonna take a look at it and you can see that we have all kinds of bets that we can make we can bet on 1 through 12 13 to 24 etc uh, 25 to 36 we can bet on even or odd or 1 through 18 19 through 36 red and black we can bet on the whole walls we can bet on two walls at a time for split payouts and of course we can bet on individual numbers up here so that's just for a little bit of ease of operations uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our roulette tokens as each player would have their own unique tokens so it would not confuse the dealer we can just bet a couple that the ball will land on black and we can also put a bet in that the ball will land on oh black 24 I think it says and so you can see that the light above that chest lit up to indicate that there's been a bet placed on that chest that's to make payouts go a little faster and we can start the spin and this is really cool you guys you can see the ball starts spinning and it's going to spin until a randomly generated pulse tells it to stop and so we're using a pretty simple random pulse generator to do this and that's all that it is really and it can be a short pulse it can be a long one in this case it's going around a couple times but eventually it's gonna stop and so you can let the anticipation build have people hanging out in here having a good time and maybe get a few last second bets in before the ball stops and we're just gonna wait for that to happen And you can see that it did stop. It landed on a black number. It looks like black 24, 34. That is not the one we bet on, though, however. So we will lose that bet. But since it was a black number we bet on black, the house would come. And they'd put a couple of our special unique tokens in this chest for us to collect. And they would take the losing bets out of the numbered chest. So you can see it might take a couple people to run a smooth game. But if you're into that sort of thing in your server this is fairly operational you guys we can go ahead and start the spin again and everybody can get their bets in while the ball's spinning we're gonna demonstrate this one more time with this spin and then we'll take a quick look at the redstone behind this contraption the ball's just going around every interval is random so it can be short, it can be long, you can set rules to make it maybe it has to go around one full time before you stop it. Maybe there are no rules wherever it stops, it stops, even if it only goes one or two slots, you know? But here in this spin, we just we happen to get a really good long spin, so it gives the, like I said before, gives people time to build up the anticipation and place their bets. And there you go, it's going to stop on red 8. And we can just start this again. This is just to show that it's not going to be landing on the same numbers twice. It can't be manipulated to do the same pulses. It's doing completely random pulses but we are going to take a quick look at the redstone you guys so how this works is the button activates a T flip-flop which sends a pull or a signal into those 
droppers are those pistons there pushing up those observers and you can see there it stopped on this number over here and we can go ahead and start the wheel again and when the button presses it puts the observers into position <laughs> well it fires through that T flip flop and it pushes the observers into position behind these armor stands and these armor stands are on top of redstone blocks which the armor stands activate the redstone blocks every so often randomly and the observers see that happen randomly and when they do see it happen they stop the ball spinning and remove themselves from being able to see the next update so that allows it to be random and you can see the ball landed on the green zero that time so that's pretty nice functionality you guys and with that we're gonna go ahead and end the video I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Hope to see you guys in my other videos, and if you have any questions, more in-depth questions about any of the redstone going on behind this machine, these random pulse generators, or the T flip-flops used to build this contraption, then drop a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel for more Gaming Bureau original redstone content. Thank you very much.